Mr. President, time has come for the international community to finally welcome the fully sovereign and independent state of Palestine as a new member of the United Nations. As for the ongoing hostility in Gaza, time has long past for the international community to stop further suffering of civilians. As we are held accountable by young generations to, to fulfill the main promise enshrined in the UN Charter of sparing more innocent lives from the scourge of war, our focus should be, should be to move towards healing the wounds and rebuilding the future. We have laid the normative basis for the consolidation of the territorial sovereignty of the State of Palestine through various decisions of the United Nations that outlaw occupation and annexation. We should now discuss ways to ensure the implementation of such norms through the engagement of the United Nations. Large-scale investment in economic development and infrastructure will be essential to ensure that Palestine achieves the long-term prosperity and the stability its resilient people deserve. Sustainable development and economic empowerment are pillars of any lasting peace settlement. The latest events in the Middle East bear yet another testament to the fact that a lasting and sustainable solution for Palestinian question is not only a moral imperative, it's a tragic prerequisite for regional and global stability. Peace and stability in the Middle East can only be achieved by the legitimate aspirations of the Palestinian people.